Spirit will do. Yes. The understanding that He will bring to you, um, you know, the fruits of the Spirit that He'll begin to just allow to overtake you and all of your old ways are thrown away and then you become new. Following the commandments is, is the only way. This yeah, is yeah. the one and only truth. Our power, Yahweh, is yes. the only way. Yes. All praises to the Most High. All praises. Um, so uh, tell us about your, what's your name? So I'm Sh Shalom. Shalom. <laughs> How you doing, Shalom? Shalom, oh, her name is peace be unto you. There's your chest. All right, there she goes. Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala. Bloopers. Shalom, Yasharala. My name is Shawashan. I'm the wife of Banaya Ban Yasharala. Welcome to Sisters of Virtue. All praises to the Most High. I'm here today to share with you my testimony on how I came into the truth. So, can you tell us about your ethnicity? What's the background? So, today, I all praises to the Most High. I know that I am a Hebrew Israelite. All praises. But Esau would call my father a so-called Filipino. My parents are from the land of the Philippines. I was actually born in Guam, and Guam is actually part of the United States, but you know, during my search, and I would say my husband, Banaya, was more diligent in searching out my father's as he was searching out his father's. Mm. And so him and I actually came across quite a few books, quite a few facts on mm. Filipinos. So when we were studying Hebrew Israelites, a lot of what you hear is so-called black, so-called Mexicans, mm -hmm. so-called Native Americans. Right. And what people don't know and what's dear and near to my heart is that, you know, some Filipinos are Native Americans. We were not brought here willingly. Uh -huh. There is uh -huh. an Acapulco slave trade, Mexicans and Filipinos on the same boat right. brought over to the United States. A lot of Filipinos were here in cages in, you know, some of the same lands as Know, our so-called Indians, um, enslaved, called savages, called mm. negritos, you know, yeah. those which means little blacks. So there's a huge history of the original Filipinos that most people don't know about. And so thankfully, you know, the Most High allowed us to find the avenues to search out. And mm -hmm. that's how, you know, we came about to know, you know, I'm not saying all Filipinos are Israelites, yeah, but there yeah. are a great number of Israelite Filipinos. Um, our congregation, True Nation Israelite Congregation, even has a True Nation congregation in the Philippines, headed up by Zabad, all praises to the Most High, um, yeah, leading yeah. a small congregation in the Philippines for those who have searched out their fathers and who know and allowed that spirit to come over them that are following the commandments, that are you know, following our laws, statutes, and commandments. Word out, yeah. Yes, and already, you know, they're 15 hours ahead of us, so they're already into our our feast that we're celebrating tonight here in California, yeah, which is Pentecost, yeah. first fruits, all praises first to fruits. the Most High. So excited about that, that, you know, the word is spreading for those who are so called Filipinos. Search out your forefathers, yeah. you know, really understand your history and where you came from. Don't go off of what someone's telling you. You know, the scriptures tell you, if your spirit bears witness with this word, and you begin to follow those commandments, you, you do what the Most High is telling yeah. you to do. You That's know? Right. Right. So, I, I believe that I am an Israelite. All praises. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rekakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. No is in the gospel, brother, from the standard of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is the Aki of Mahalaya coming back with another lesson. Lord's will be edifying. Beautiful, beautiful testimony, man. Beautiful testimony. This uh, Filipino Israelite woke up to the fact that she is a Hebrew Israelite, okay, according to the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Uh, speaking of Lashuan Kodash, and this shows you that the work that brothers are doing, that we're doing as a collective, is actually paying off. Um, the scriptures goes into roughly paraphrasing about, you know, one sinner 
that repents, you know, the angels rejoice in that. So um, this is a big slap in the face to you all black Israelites, okay? You shallow dudes. You guys are hella shallow, okay? Because you people are so hell-bent on skin color to the point where you can't see anything past a dark skin and woolly afro. Like, that, that's so shallow. Even genetics proves that you don't have to look like uh, a particular set stipend in order to be of that origin, Okay, you don't have to look like a typical Israelite to be an Israelite. And this is what we're teaching. It's not about skin color. And if you look at that uh, that young lady or that lady, that woman, I mean, she was fair skinned, but she still had color. She still had pigment. She, you know, she looks like she may have been Latino, Filipino. And, and I've always said, I always said through the spirit, Filipinos, a lot of them are Israelites, man. Okay. And she made a good point about the Arapo uh, slave trade. Okay. With Issachar, Gat. Okay. Was all drug over here on slave ships, some of them was taken back to Spain, some of them was taken further east, some of them was carried from the Philippine Islands over here to serve slavery, okay, because Esau knew who were the Israelites, man, okay, because even among the Philippines, you got Manny Pacquiao, which in my, in my humble opinion, I always felt like Manny Pacquiao was straight of Jake, okay, because a lot of them people that go back to Guam or the Philistines, which Guam is just a, is like an island outside of the Philippine Islands, and then you got a Korea, you got Asia, it's still considered Asian, but nonetheless, you got people that come out of Guam, okay, which I felt like a lot of them were Northern Kingdom anyway, like it was this uh, one guy I used to work with years ago, man, and uh, his name was Chad, he was in the military, and uh, he said he had a father from Guam, but he had the spirit of a Jake on him, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, this guy gotta be a Jake, okay, so with that being said, man, what do you black Israelites have to say now? But nah, man, she ain't got woolly hair, then she ain't Israelites, man. Dude, bro, they fit the curses, man. Okay? And we didn't say every Filipino was of the tribe or stock of Abraham or, or Israel. But nonetheless, they fit the curses and she bear witness with it. So that's what matters. Okay? Because you got a lot of so-called black men out there that aren't even Israelites, man. Like, look at T and Tamara. Okay? Look at uh, Taj Mari. Okay? They, those are tears. You see what I'm saying? They look like our people, but they ain't our people. You know, and then you got a lot of uh, uh, Edomites that look like Asians, Asians of Edomite. I noticed that a lot of the Moabites and them South Koreans, man, they got more of an Edomite uh, dialect to them, so to speak, or, or mannerism types, because a lot of them are Edomites too, okay? But a lot of our people are going to come from these different countries in which you didn't suspect, and that's going to be a big Smack in the face for a lot of you people, man, okay? Because you all black Israelites, you have the audacity to speak and run your mouth, but none of you are out there on the streets teaching. None of you are going out to the highways and the byways, but yet you sit behind a computer with these dreadlocks, women worshiping, okay? Just a bunch of dusty ass jakes. Oh, we know, man. They're Merigooks. Nigga, what if you ain't an Israelite? You know? Because look at uh look at look at my man's uh what's my man's name? He's a Levite, the basketball player, my man, uh Blake Griffin. I always use him as an example. Look at that man and and look at his father. His father is black as night, but Blake Griffin is my complexion, and guess what? His son looks like fucking Leonardo DiCaprio, man. Which Leonardo DiCaprio is a Jake. And that's a big stumbling block to a lot of you because think about it. You think if we've been scattered among the nations and we've lived among the heathens for hundreds and thousands of years, you don't think that the bloodline or the physical anatomy or the molecular structure, whatever you want to call it, you don't think that there's not going to take on the features of those nations? Like, come on, man. That's how genetics work. DNA don't even work the way you niggas talking about. Well, it, you could be in, in Hong Kong somewhere, okay, but you got to be black with woolly hair to be considered an Israelite, but yet... Your line goes back into Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Your father goes back into uh, Vietnam or something like that. But yeah, you got to be just a just a typical token Negro, according to these guys, to be accepted into the faith. Like, you niggas are tripped, man. All because you have a hatred for the other tribes. Like, the Most High doesn't deal with diversity. Like, even you Jakes, you like diversity. Jake just don't want to wear one color every single day. Jake likes to switch it up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why Jake got a variety. You know, but yet the most high, he's not allowed to have a variety. He's only allowed to deal with a, the blackest Jake with the nappiest hair, right? You guys are straight jokes, man. And the most high is going to deck every last one of you cats that teach that doctrine. All Israel is all quote unquote black. 
Okay, the Philippines, what do you think they call it? They call them small black or little blacks, man. She just said that. So how can you refute that? How are you going to refute something that somebody's actually living and experienced when your black ass has been subjected to the hood in Kansas City? You've never been to Guam. Okay, you've never been to Thailand. You've never been to Venezuela. You've never been down to Mexico or, 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 or uh, Tijuana. Okay, you've never been over there. You've never been to uh, the Philippine islands to see what type of hell these people catch. Just like because your black ass, you stuck in a damn hood, okay, on a fucking laptop somewhere talking your shit. No. The Most High is doing a great work, okay? He's waking up our people, and it's good because this is, we getting the hell out of here. And more of this is going to pop up. I've always said, I said, watch, we don't have camps popping up over there in Asia. And then she showed a group of brothers, which I don't know, I don't think that great millstone. But, you know, nonetheless, they still getting the word out. You know, they're still waking the people up. And the fact that when people watch other Israelite videos, the spirit will dissect and lead people to where they need to be. You see? So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of GMS videos being pumped out there in, the, uh, in Guam, in the Philippine Islands, man. Like I said, Manny Pacquiao, that dude is a straight J. He's the only dude I know to go fight a, a title boxing fight where they get knocked out. If he get knocked out, he's in church later on that morning or later on that night. You know, talking about, you know, praying a white Jesus, of course, which proves... <laughs> That uh, uh, he's a Jake because that's that zeal, okay? Because most of those Philippines that ain't Israelites, they don't have no spiritual connection to Yahweh or any type of reasoning with the Bible. Most of them believe in Buddha, okay? But hey, Manny Pacquiao, as off as he is, he believe it's Jesus, man. He loved that Jesus, man. He's a minister and all kinds of shit, man. Manny Pacquiao cut a lot of you niggas, you know? But uh, this is a precept. It says here, uh, 8 Romans 8 and 16, it says the spirit bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the most high that's the point she believes okay and only belief can come through the stock of israel man that's it you only, only how you can believe is if you an israelite if you ain't an israelite the most high wouldn't even give you the interest to believe in this word and to push it that's the whole spiritual connection that cuts down all the argument about the endless genealogies and that tribe and i'm this color and that that cuts all that man okay OK, which those things are important. But at the same time, it's just like, OK, if you an Israelite, you an Israelite. It goes down to if you're of the elect or not. You know, like niggas talk shit about it was one brother in my camp uh, years ago. He was getting a lot of slack. Like y'all got that white boy in your camp. I'm like, you don't even look white. You know, all because brother got a little finer, grade of hair, you know, like this one nigga. I call him the, the broke jaw, broke jaw goon or the, or the, the snap jaw demon. Nigga look like he got his jaw wire shut, probably back in the world for running his mouth too much. I can see why somebody probably closed you up. But nonetheless, he talks shit about these people and people being fair skinned. But nigga, you my complexion. All but because you got woolly hair, all of a sudden now you're qualified to be an Israelite. You are a complete joke, man. All right. And the Most High is going to start dealing with you. It says, and if children then heirs of heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with the anointed, if so be that we suffer with them, that we may be also glorified together right and this is the reason why the tribes are waking up man okay because we're coming back into ushering in a kingdom of Yahweh shy okay beautiful times we live in all right and i don't think this video came out yesterday it was recent but nonetheless man it, it seems like it's a pretty updated video so if she's woken up her husband's woken up just imagine how many more israelites are down there you know because the scriptures say that the gospel should be preached in all nations then the end shall come. So, hey, man, this word is getting there due to the Internet. OK, uh, this is the give precept here. Ezekiel 20. And I'm going to start at verses. I think it's 20 and 34. Yep, this is the book of Ezekiel 20 and 34. It says here and which cometh into your mind shall not be at all that they say will be as the heathen, as the families to the countries to serve wood and stone, right? Remember, because we was scattered, we were dispersed. If you were dispersed among nations for thousands of years, eventually you are going to take on the characteristics of those people. You may have, you may have been around Moab looking like a typical Jake at one point. Okay, but overall, when you keep laying your seed, you think that Jake going to go out his way to find another a nigga woman in, in, in Thailand? No, he's going to start dealing with Vietnamese women, Thai women, Guam women. And as he keep putting, putting his seed in these women over a course of time, 
these children are going to start looking like the other nations, man. But their seed, their spirit goes back into their father, man. How hard is that for you to understand? Because with that type of teaching, you guys are shutting up the kingdom of heaven unto men. Okay, when you say that, oh, well, nah, that, it don't matter. It hurt the father. The kid looked like Bruce Lee, so uh, he's a gook. I'm like, all right, you a gook. You know, and that's why it's going to be a beautiful thing. The most time I start waking up these speckled birds and these uh, uh, Israelite foreigners, man, it's going to be a smack in your face because a lot of them going to make it before a lot of you black ass niggas, man. Especially you dreadhead Israelites and the, you Old Testament only because you, you dudes are just weak, man. You are pathetic. You would never come up and contend with the word. You get emotional. You don't believe in anything. You believe that David is going to come and say, like, dude, no. You can't get with your how was shot, right? But if you read in the Old Testament, Isaiah 53, Isaiah uh, 63, okay, Deuteronomy 17th chapter, even the Psalms 22 goes into your how was shot. Why, why you guys speak or, or, or go over that? Why you guys overstep that? Because you ain't on a level, okay? But, uh, and it reads here. It says, and as I live, says the Lord, Yahweh, surely with the mighty hand and with the stretched out arm and with fury poured out, I will rule over you and I will bring you out from the people and will gather you out of the countries wherein ye are scattered with the mighty hand and with a stretched out arm and with fury poured out. Okay, and that's the whole point, man. That's the point. Okay, the Lord is gonna come and get us from the from these nations, from these heathens. Okay, because we need deliverance, we need salvation, man. I was listening to the beloved brother uh, Tazadok from Cali, the elder brother out there, man. He did a beautiful lesson, you know, about keep the armor on, look in the mirror, because you know when I woke up this morning, man, I was just just feeling hopeless, bro. Like you know, and not in a, in a spirit or the faith, but just like I'm this life is just like it just it's like. Bro, it's, it's literally a struggle to try to do the right thing, meaning that it's just doing typical shit, like trying to stay on your P's and Q's, teach the truth, stay ahead, you know, make sure your bills are paid on time. It, they, they oppress you as something that's as getting, a, a, you know, trying to move out or do other things or trying to get things and acquire things that's good for you, you know, that you can continue to maintain and level headness. They make that shit so hard, man. That's why I realize, like, I'm like, this is not our rest. You know what I'm saying? The obtainable is unobtainable in this place, man. It's something that should be as easy as going out your part, your house and making moves and make this happen, make that happen. It's just something as small as these setbacks that keep you back and, and it frustrates the hell out of you because you got to jump through loops in order to get something that should be so easy. I'm just like, you know what, man? I'm, I'm done with this. I'm not doing it. I'm, I'm like, I'm done. And that brother video, man, you know, it just put it, it reignited that fire back in me, you know, and that's the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why we do these shows to encourage y'all brothers because, hey, getting out of bed in the morning, it's just like sometimes you're like, look, the hell with this place. It's all a joke, you know, you know, they, they, you know, by you being a so-called man of color, you call around trying to move, move to certain neighborhoods. They all back give you the highest price because they hear in your voice that you're a man of color. You know what I'm saying? And you got to play, you got to play into all that because I was calling around. You know, and I was trying to find this one place that I could possibly move in because the place I was supposed to move in last month, but actually somehow that wasn't available, but they told me it was, you know, so now I got to wait another month, hopefully to move up out of here. But I was calling around getting some prices and uh, <laughs> what happened was I just felt the spirit was like, watch her tell you this because she heard your voice. Now, if I sound like an Edomite, then it would have been different or a woman, you know what I'm saying? But uh. I asked her, I said, hey, how much for X and X, Y, and Z for this particular one bedroom, X, Y, and Z? She started at the highest price. She told me like $1,200. Back in my mind, the spirit like, man, she just told you that. That's probably the highest they go up. But I'm like, I guarantee you the apartment you're trying to get is around 800 bucks a month. That's what the spirit was telling me. And then I could tell what it was because she was kind of brief with me. You can tell like she didn't want to elaborate or anything like that because she picked up on my voice. She's like, oh, this is a nigga calling me. I ain't finna rent to this guy. You know what I'm saying? So that, 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 that the spirit just told me that. And that's what we constantly deal with as men in this society, man. Especially men that's serving the, the Lord. Like, it shouldn't be this fucking difficult. But, you know, it's part of the hell we catch. 
All right. That's why a hey, that's why it says I will gather you out of the countries when you were scattered with the mighty hand and stretched out arm and with fury poured out. And I will bring you into the wilderness of the people and I will plead with you face to face, man, because a lot of you Jake's man, you're going to be reserved just to be straight up judged. Because remember, America is going to be destroyed, but you're going to still have rebellious Israelites in different parts of the world that we're going to have to really go down there and put judgment on. A lot of you just ain't going to get it. Hence, Luke 19, 27. Um, another precept here. Uh, I'm getting back on topic. So like y'all kind of got off topic there. This is the book of Isaiah 55. And I'm going to start at verses 9. Matter of fact, 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. And that's a cut to you, you all black dudes, man. You try to put your emphasis on the most high. No, you don't understand the ways of the Lord. You guys don't even believe in the New Testament for one thing, okay, which is totally y'all, because when you deny the New Testament, you completely deny the Messiah, okay? And what the Lord says, he said, if you deny me before men, I would deny you before my Father in heaven. So you guys are already disqualified from getting salvation. And on top of that, you shutting up the kingdom of heaven and men, that's a big no-no, all right? It says here, Neither are your ways my way, says the Lord. So it ain't your, it ain't your problem as to why the Lord going to save people that look like other nations. And honestly, she don't even look like Guam. I mean, Guam, like I said, Guam, shit, I, I've seen a couple of people from Guam. They look like Issachar, man, or Gash. She look like a Gadite, honestly. But according to y'all, her skin is too light. Okay, but if she had woolly hair at that fair complexion, she would be okay. Okay, but the fact she has straighter texture of hair because she's lived around other nations is through genetics. Now, all of a sudden, she's not an Israelite. That's not fair, man. Okay, because believe it or not, the Northern Kingdom, uh, they have woolly hair. Okay, it may be a little finer and silkier, but nonetheless, that hair is still woolly. I've seen Puerto Ricans with afros and shit get frizzy. You know, they got to put the spritz in there to keep it kind of shiny, man. Their hair get nappy too, man. All nations have woolly hair at, at a point of time. You niggas are just simple as hell. That's why you ain't on a level, you know, and it says for as heavens are higher than the earth. So are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts for as rain coming down. Y'all dudes are stuck on this whole Africa kick. Well, Africa, this Africa, that, you know, that Africa wasn't the only land that had people of color, right? See, that, and that's Esau. Esau has destroyed your minds because they teach that all black people come from Africa. Bull, that's bullshit, man. OK, because the same people that was down in Portugal and Spain are actually brothers and sisters of the people that was in the West and northern coast of Africa, man. OK, look up the Punic Wars. Look up the uh, Gibraltar. OK, look up the, uh, 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 the 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 wars of the Moors and so for the wars of the Moors, the Moors, uh, uh, the Moors when you had the Christians versus the, the 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 Muslims type shit, man. OK, look up Gibraltar. Look up all these different war. Wars and our people migrated from North and Western Africa, went up into Europe, okay, to Asia Minor. Why do you think Paul went there? And that's the reason, a big reason why they denied the New Testament because they feel like, oh, well, Paul went to these other nations. They can't be Israelites. That's why they totally deny the New Testament. But you can't deny it because history proves it, okay? That's why you got Jake in the UK. Answer that. Well, they dark skin. Well, you got light skin Jakes. You got uh, a lot of uh, Ephraimite Jakes out there in the UK. You got a lot of Gadites out there in Ireland. The hell, you know? It says before it's rain coming down and a snow from heaven and returning not hither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth and bud that it may give so to the sower, seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It should not return unto me void, but it should accomplish that which I please, and it should prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay? And that's the whole point, man. That's the point. So this word is purpose to do whatever the most high wants it, and it's to gather his elect from the four winds. All right, not saying she's of the elect, but hey, it's a good chance that people like that that wakes up, okay, that's really adamant about this thing, the Lord can save them, man. All right, one last precept, the book of Revelation 7. And nine, it says, and this I behold and lo, a great multitude, which no man can number of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues stood before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes with palms in their hands and cried with a loud voice saying salvation to our power. OK, that's possessive, man. Our God. They knew they were Israelites, which sitted upon the throne and to the lamb. OK, and that's the point. All nations, kindreds and tongues. And when you go into that word nation, it goes into ethnos, which means tribes. 
which proves that these were of the tribes of Israel, man. That's why I gave you all 12 tribes. Okay? But anyway, I'm going to end it there, brothers. All praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom and a Baba